started this right when I graduated from Cornish in 1998, mm-hmm. and so... 11 years mm-hmm. now and <laughs> I am just finishing the major arcana the major arcana is 22 paintings that are this big mm-hmm. and uh, this one I'm just finishing now the hangman and then I have the chariot then I'm done with the major arcana and I've also done there's all together there's 78 cards in the tarot okay and there's smaller cards um, there are also smaller paintings that mm-hmm. I've done so I've done a bunch of the major oh, like arcana the, too the minor yeah, cards, okay. the minor, the court cards are mm-hmm. about three feet high, and then the minor arcana is like two feet high, something like that. They're okay. Like, and um, I just haven't worked on those little ones in a while, because right. I'm trying to finish the big ones. Right. And um, and I do, I make it, I have a deck, you know, that I've made. Okay. Yeah. So are these, are the, the paintings all a deck that you've created, and then you're making the paintings, or are you using uh-huh. a previous deck? Um, no, I'm creating my own. I've invented my own deck. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I re- I've been researching tarot and each card as I go. Some of them I've just really taken artistic license. Like the hangman is, looks nothing like the original hangman. Mm-hmm. But the meaning behind it um, is definitely mm-hmm. conducive to the hangman. Um, uh, do you know of any other artists or people that have done something like this? Um, yeah, there's. I've known... Well, I haven't met them, actually. Mm, sure. <laughs> but I know there's other painters in Seattle that have created tarot deck. I know oh. the Halloween tarot is created by somebody, and that's actually a published deck. Oh, okay. By somebody in Seattle, and she has some paintings hanging at Gargoyle Statuary, which okay. I sell out of my prints there. I have, like, oh. prints on sale there. How long do you think it's going to take you to complete complete the deck? Um, well, since I'm almost done with the major arcana, which is right. kind of the biggest part, mm-hmm. um, I could, you know, I think maybe in two years I could finish it. The smaller ones go a lot faster. Um, The big ones have been really intense, and the major arcana itself is very intense. Mm -hmm. It's, there are archetypes, big archetypes each, and so working on it, it's just, you know, like, I'll be like experiencing the deck, the deck in my life, the Mm -hmm. card in my life. Oh, wow, yeah. It's bizarre. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and so experiencing the tarot through the major arcana through painting it is, major life experience. Wow, yeah. I would say anybody, if you're interested in tarot, try to, you know, do your own deck because it'll make you grow and your life will go in all these interesting directions. Mm -hmm. So you were saying earlier that with, you know, your research of creating the deck that you became a reader yourself. Yeah, yeah. So do you do that for people? Yes, I work at um, Echo Elements. It's an environmental bookstore type of thing and um, Place market. Oh, yeah. And they sell like candles and incense. Mm-hmm. And they've been around for like almost 20 years. Mm-hmm. And you feel like you're really helping people. It's right. Almost in a way, it's psychology, the tarot. Mm-hmm. You know, these events are happening in your life. And this is what I see happening. It's not fortune telling like a lot of people think. Mm-hmm. It's more like saying, oh, this is where you're going in your life. These are the influences coming in. And mm-hmm. this is how to deal with it. And it, it brings up the good parts, the bad parts, you know, things that you need to look at. Mm-hmm. And it's been really amazing how it helps people. So it makes me feel good, too, like I'm helping. Right, right. And I'm working with tarot, which I love. Right.